Hello everyone, welcome back to another video from Shomus Biology. And uh, this is a short video regarding a uh, Greek key motif. If you want to know what is Greek key motif and uh, the structures of the Greek key motif and important parameters and features of Greek key motif, then that this video is going to help you out. So I'm going to write it down, Greek key motif. Now generally the name or nomenclature to the different structures of proteins are provided based on the type of bonds that they share and also based on its nature and how they look like. So in this case of Greek key motif, it looks like a Greek design or Greek key design basically. It follows a pattern of that Greek key design. That's why the name given as the Greek key motif. Alexa, it's video time. Okay. Alexa, turn off the front light. Okay. So, we are going to see how this Greek key is going to look like. It is going to look something like this. Like this. Look at the arrow, the direction, the way that I am planting the arrow. This is a particular type of fold that is observed in specific regions of amino acid sequences that can build a Greek key motif. So, there are four different uh, beta strands out there strand number one strand number two three and four four different beta strands are out there and they are folded in a proper way first one starting here then through the bottom second one third to the top again fourth one to the bottom in that way this particular nature of structures is formed and that is known as greek key motif starting from here ending here starting from here ending here that is how the greek key motif structure is done now, you need to be able to understand and know what is a motif, what is a motif in a protein. While we are looking at a protein structure, in that case, we are going to talk about discrete units which is already formed from the uh, primary sequences of amino acids. And this structure is enough or capable to show some sort of function. So any secondary structures of the protein that is capable of providing a function or associated to a function is known as a motif. And motif is a very small discrete structural component in a protein that can provide some sort of specific function to the protein. But the, the important feature a motif lacks, motif lacks is folding capability and independent folding capabilities. So there are primary sequence of amino acids and we know the folding of amino acid means basically how exactly the amino acids they interact with each other via hydrogen bonds, via disulfide linkages. So they interact, hydrophobic interactions are out there that is known as protein folding. So this protein folding decision to be taken by the sequence itself but as a motif their protein folding nature is not dictated by themselves. It is governed by some other part of the amino acid structure of the protein structure. So they are not independent folders. While any, any area of the protein which is functional and can fold itself which has independent folding capabilities is known as domains. That's the difference between protein motifs and protein domains. Remember, let me write it here, protein domain. You should never forget uh, what is protein domain and what is protein motif after this video. So domain means again, this is also a functional unit. In fact, small, it is known as the smallest independently foldable structural units, uh, functional units of a protein. So it's also a functional unit, okay? But it has folding, protein folding capability, self folding capability or independent protein folding capability that is known as domain. So Greek key is not a domain because it lacks the auto or self folding capability. Greek key is just a motif and it looks like a Greek key pattern. Greek key motif is built with what? It's built with four beta strands as you can see in the anti-parallel orientation. And we know these beta strands, they are connected to each other, the interaction that are done, CO and NH, that interaction via hydrogen bonds. They form hydrogen bonds. 
with the help of the hydrogen bond they stick to each other they interact each other that's how the stability a structural support is provided another important feature is that as these beta strands are very common and they are very easy to accommodate so in many beta barrel beta barrel shaped protein in many beta barrel shaped proteins we are going to find out this greek key motifs like superoxide dismutase superoxide dismutase is a kind of ba barrel shaped protein and uh, in this bar barrel shaped protein in this barrel shaped protein like superoxide dismutase we are going to find out the presence of this greek key motif is very common uh, for the greek key motif to be found in the beta barrels like superoxide dismutase it is also very common to get this kind of proteins in uh, in secretory proteins in this this greek key motif structures are very common in secretory proteins and also structural proteins protein that provide structural support uh, to the cell and also proteins secreted out the globular protein generally the protein which is largely responsible to provide structural strength and stability to our body those proteins they often have this greek key motif as a motif of choice inside their secondary and super secondary structures okay now one difference that we uh, generally notice here for this motif one drawback is that this motif is is not designed to uh, interact to any sequence of the dna in a specific manner so there is no specificity towards no specificity towards dna sequences dna or rna sequence a g t c a u g c whatever it is in the backbone this protein cannot distinguish whether it's a or g or t or c there are different kinds of motifs that are dedicatedly built so that they can recognize and specify and separate different category of nucleotides which is not possible by greek key motif so that's a drawback for greek key motif okay which is a function of another protein known as the zinc finger motif we are going to talk about the zinc finger motif very soon uh, in the next video we are going to talk about that you can also watch that video so there is no sequence specificity recognition by this greek key motif but they are extremely strong they help to build very they help to build very strong shape and structural stability provide structural stability to the proteins okay so for the proper structural stability uh, this greek key motifs are predominantly functioning and in most of the barrel shaped proteins we see the greek key motifs role okay hello everyone welcome back to another video from shomus biology and in this particular lecture we are going to talk about another kind of motif and this is a zinc finger motif now we have talked about this earlier we have talked about this uh, <clears throat> greek key motif if you haven't watched this video then i will recommend you to go back and watch this lecture it is going to help you understand what motif is what domain is and then also about the greek key motif and i told you that the greek key motif is largely providing structural stability and support to the most of the proteins that that we know which are structural proteins or circulatory proteins uh, excretory proteins example uh, there are barrel proteins like superoxide dismutase and there are also proteins like immunoglobulins they have greek key motifs in them